Hi folks, it's Colin Fraser. Welcome back to our Raza tutorial and design series and we're getting near the end for the home page and one of the last things in the home page we have is the footer and the get in touch section. Now this section is a form and what I'm going to show you applies to any form that you use in your site including the contact page or the uh, off canvas menu if it has a form, wherever you have a form. Uh, basically with forms when somebody submits, fills out the information, name, phone number, uh, email, and message, and uh, yes, I'm aware of the uh, typo there, but thanks for noticing. Uh, when people fill this information out and hit send it, that information has to go somewhere and then be redirected off to your email program. It doesn't sort of magically go from your web page right to your email program. It has to be routed through a web server first, so that web server can take a look at the email address and say, ah, Here's where the information is supposed to go and sends it off. Now, typically in a regular website, the information you would use something provided by your web host, some sort of a form, mail, CGI bin. There's a million different solutions out there. You'd use something that connects the form to their server and then from their server out to your email pro program or email client. Now, in the past, we used to provide just a generic form. The generic form wasn't compatible with all web servers or web hosts and just became a support nightmare. So what we decided to do was create our own solution. We call it Super Submit. Super Submit is part of i3D Themes and Lucky Marble. It's our own website, our own offshoot. And all it does is email handling. Okay. Because we also wanted to provide something to the general public as well as our customers. So... We use a super submit service. It's an email server. It takes information from your web page, routes it through the email server, and then off to your email address. You have to set this up though. It's not set up by default. And one of the reasons for that is because of certain legislation and spam legislation, which we have to adhere to, we're not allowed to set these things up for you automatically. Not like we used to in the past. Things have changed. So in order to set up the super submit and make sure your form works, all you have to do is log into your account click on the license information button here from your account main page okay and in this particular page there's a license key you can copy this right now you may need it in the future but I like to copy it anyways and then immediately click on web template and basic form handler okay now from here you can just read through all the information about this particular service and why we're using it and why we stopped using the process form.php a few years back um, and click right here do the click here to get started now because we've copied the key and we're going in through our, our member account um, the pricing and sign up doesn't really apply to you because you're going to get it for free all right so all you need to do is do the click to get started all right type in your name hit continue type in your email address I'll just use my email address please don't send information to this because I only pick it up like once a week and then we're gonna go continue and what is your website address so the website address is important because it's linked to where the information is being sent from okay so we're gonna go i3d themes.com okay and continue now what's going to happen at this point is it's going to just review the information you've typed in. You hit create account and then it's going to ask you to uh, sign in with your email and your password. Now that last step, because I've already signed in, that's where I go to the login. If you haven't already registered, it'll ask you for a username and password and you just fill it in like normal and then boom. Now once, once you have... Uh, done that part you'll be waiting for a verification email to come to the email address that you assigned and basically what it's doing is it's saying hey we want to make sure that the email address that you're sending email to is actually yours and this is a spam prevention technique so you have to fire up your email program you have to check and make sure you check the junk drawer as well as your regular email and you have to <coughs> excuse me verify that your email is actually yours. I'm just going to go and do that now in another browser and ver check my email account and I'll come back. Okay, now I've done that. 
I come back to my website and I get into the I log into my super submit after I verified my email and now I can actually go and create a form so you can click add form if you don't already have something in here right and basically here it is shiny new form we'll, we'll go with that one here I'm going to delete this previous one here and just go with this one right here pending means that it hasn't been set up yet so we're going to click the instructions button and get started the first thing we need to do is we need to place this where our form tag is so we're, we're going to start by copying this entire form link right here and we're going to open up our site in Dreamweaver we're going to open up our index page and go to that particular section of the page or wherever our form happens to be so let's just double click the index page I'm going to flip it into design view for now and scroll on down right to the very bottom and there it is there's our contact us there's our form right here okay so this is about the oh that's the wrong piece sorry get in touch that's what I'm looking for there's our form so there's our get in touch it's within the uh, footer I believe so what we need to do is just sort of right click and open library item or go into our library our shared and our footer LBI okay and here's our our form in here let's just flip it right into code view because we have to do that anyways right and we're looking for the form post with this it looks just like this just the generic form tag and what we're going to do is from the page we copy this Dreamweaver footer LBI right around line 16 where this, ex this existing form tag is we just paste it right in place so that's step number one okay guess what we're actually done now we can take it to a more advanced level okay and that is we can add spam protection thank you to Google reCAPTCHA in order to add spam in order to add spam protection we need to go to step two okay the first thing we need to do is get a site key and a secret key so basically we're going to click this link right here that says Google go to Google okay it's going to fire up a Google site here and your reCAPTCHA sites I've already made some in the past okay uh, register a new site is where you want to go we're just going to do the i3d themes and ooh, we can use this new invisible recapture or recapture version 2 right now all I I know is we're going to go with recapture version 2 okay and we're going to type in the domain okay and we're going to accept the terms of service and then hit register okay I haven't used invisible recapture yet so uh, but it might be something cool that you may want to try yourself okay at this point there's our site key we're going to scrub over copy it and paste it in here click OK go back to here our page get our secret key scrub over copy it paste it in here and OK and now this script right here we need to copy this into the head of our pages that use the um, form okay so we're just going to click here and we're going to copy and in this case it's our index page so we need to, to go to our index page put it into code view and go right to the very top and we're going to look for a, an editable region and the current page CSS is a editable region we can use so we're just going to open that up and paste in that link right there that's sort of step number two we're going to go going to go back and finish off by copy and add this code to where you want the recaptcha field to show in your form so we're just going to once again click and we're going to copy and in this case our footer LBI we want it to show up along with the form and the best place to put it is right above the send it button so we're going to find the button class we're going to put our cursor right above it hit enter a few times and paste in this div of recaptcha save and update so we'll save the page here once that's done updating then we'll save the index page we'll preview it and we should see some sort of a placeholder show up 
for our recapture. So if I go back to our page and I refresh, we get this error, the site owner, invalid domain for the site key. Yes, because I'm previewing it locally. I'm not actually previewing it from the i3d themes domain, which according to Google is where we registered the recapture to. So once the site gets published up to the server, this all goes away. You get the nice little squiggly circle thing with a check mark that uh, the recaptcha uh, does and it's added properly to your site and you can use this method for updating any page that has a form using super submit